We're doing something amazing here at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. We're growing human gastrointestinal tract in our research laboratories. Our scientists are bioengineering stomach, colon, liver, and even intestinal tissue that has functioning nerves. And this is really a tremendous advance for precision medicine. We can use a child's own cells to grow their GI tissue in the laboratory, and we can use this to study that child's disease and find out clues on how to treat their condition. After a decade of generating human mini organs in the lab, Cincinnati Children's is forming a center to accelerate technologies, to improve patient care, and launch a bold new era in personalized medicine. The Center for Stem Cell and Organoid Medicine combines the medical center's expertise in developmental and stem cell biology, medicine, biomedical informatics, and genomics. So surgeons reconstruct the biliary systems, the GI systems, the esophagus with, with either native tissues, which is the best, or taking two ends and putting them together. But often when they're more complex, we have to use other structures like other parts of the intestine and move it into places to make up for that gap. Those are not ideal situations. That's where we live today. They pose lifetime problems for these patients. The question is, can we use their own cells to grow and mitigate that problem so that we can uh, put things together in the right way with the right tissue? The answer is yes, just not yet today. That's our goal. Today in the lab, we're using organoids made from patients that are actually in the hospital to discover unknown disease pathologies. And then we're working with the clinicians to try to improve the patient care. In the future, we will help develop and test new drugs for these patients with the hope of reversing disease symptoms and diseases ranging from diabetes to digestive diseases. And by mimicking these processes of normal organ development, we're able to develop these new human organoid technologies. And of course, they have tremendous potential because they're human and they can be used to study disease in a dish. For bioengineering tissue, let's say stomach or intestine, we start with pluripotent stem cells, which are remarkable because they can become any cell of the body and, and they can be made from any patient that comes in the door. And we coax them to undergo these processes of organ development in a dish where they come together and they assemble to form specific organ tissues like stomach and intestine. The Center for Stem Cell and Organoid Medicine at Cincinnati Children's is really designed to move this amazing technology as quickly forward as possible to help treat these patients. You know, our goal really is well beyond gastrointestinal disease. Our scientists are starting to do similar research in lung, kidney, and heart. The key to success is going to be getting help from industry, philanthropy, and the medical center's technology transfer team so that we can transfer this organoid technology to the patient care pipeline as quickly as possible. Helping lead those endeavors is Dr. Takenori Takebe. He's a global leader in generating human liver organoids. Back in 2010, I was actually in the transplant center as a surgeon. What I saw there was just patients are just waiting to die because of donor shortage. What we see from the organoid application in the future is we can transplant organoid into the patients to provide a cure for such a patient's population who cannot be treated by conventional transplantation. That's actually my dream, to be able to rescue such a patient who is waiting 